Saving Edward. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard carrying goods and passengers. They cheerfully chuffed up and down the lines. All except Edward. Edward was worried. He wheezed as he puffed, and steam hissed out of his cylinders. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. A special delivery of fruit and vegetables is coming to the docks today, he told him. I want you to take it to Knapford. Yes, sir, said Edward. Thomas, you ought to go to the docks and shunt Edward's freight cars. Yes, sir, said Thomas eagerly. Thomas and Edward puffed to the water tower. Edward tried to stop wheezing, but he couldn't. What's the matter, asked Thomas. You don't sound well. I can't seem to get up steam properly, but I'll manage. Don't tell anyone, Thomas. Thomas could see Edward was worried, so he agreed. He hurried off to shunt Edward's freight cars. Edward followed slowly to the docks. At the docks, Thomas had shunted Edward's freight cars into place for him. Edward puffed as hard as he could, but the train hardly moved at all. Thomas was very upset. I'll do my other jobs first, Thomas said. Then I'll pull the train for you. Edward watched Thomas puff away. He wasn't sure if it was right to let Thomas do his job. Edward felt very worried. Edward waited sadly by his train. Edward was very pleased to see him. Don't worry, Edward, puffed Thomas. I'll have your job done in no time. You go back to Tidmouth and I'll meet you there later. Thank you, Thomas, wheezed Edward. And Thomas pulled away with a long line of freight cars. Thomas was tired. He had been working all day. And Edward's train was very heavy. But he was determined not to let Edward down. Sir Topham Hatt was talking to Gordon as Thomas puffed in. Thomas, this train is late, and why are you pulling it? Where is Edward? Uh, uh, well, Edward took on the wrong sort of coal, sir. The wrong sort of coal? What nonsense, Thomas. I'll find out what Edward has to say about this later. Gordon steamed through the countryside. And then he found Edward having a rest. What's all this about the wrong sort of coal, huffed Gordon. The wrong sort of coal? Gordon told Edward all about Thomas and Sir Topham Hatt. Edward felt very bad. He wanted to put things right. He decided he must go and see Sir Topham Hatt straight away. At last, Edward puffed into the station. He found Sir Topham Hatt. You should always tell me if you have a problem, said Sir Topham Hatt. You are a loyal, hard-working, and really useful engine. I will send you to the fitter's yard straight away. You'll soon be as good as new. Edward was very relieved. And Thomas was very tired from his extra work, but they both agreed, even when it's hard, it's always best to tell the truth.